now let us discuss about 4 bit binary subtractor it is mainly useful in order to subtract two binary numbers whose size is 4 bits so here we have two binary numbers the first binary number is represented by a which contains four bits such as a3 a2 a1 a0 where a3 is the most significant bit a0 is the least significant bit let the second binary number is denoted by b which contains four bits such as b3 b2 b1 b0 where b3 is most significant bit b0 is least significant bit okay so here what we have to do we have to perform a minus b so subtract b from a here the logic is very very simple uh, we have to add the two's complement of second number to the first number okay so here what is the two's complement of second number here the second number is b so here we can write this as a plus we need to calculate two's complement of the second number two's complement of b so a minus b is nothing but a plus two's complement of b so two's complement of b is added to a that will give a minus b we know how to calculate two's complement of a number so two's complement of a number equal to one's complement plus one one's complement plus one so here a plus so what is the two's complement of b we have to calculate one's complement of b and then add one to it so we have to perform this operation now let us take an example let a is equal to let a equal to six let b equal to 2 so now we have to perform a minus b 6 minus 2 so represent 6 in binary notation so how to represent 6 in binary notation simply we have to use 8421 notation so 0 double 1 0 0 double 1 0 so now here what is the second number uh, what is the second number 2 so now we have to calculate 2's complement of 2. How we can represent 2 in binary notation? 2 in binary notation is 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0. Now we have to calculate 2's complement of 0, 0, 1, 0. So for that first we have to calculate 1's complement of 0, 0, 1, 0. So 1's complement means zeros are changed to ones ones are changed to zeros so this zero will be changed to one second zero is changed to one one will be changed to zero this zero will be changed to one so one one zero one is nothing but one's complement of zero zero one zero but here we have to we have to calculate two's complement so for two's complement we have to add one to the one's complement so you add one to it so one plus one zero with a carry one zero plus one 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 so here the two's complement of two is triple one zero triple one zero so we have to add uh, two's complement of b to the a okay so zero plus zero zero simply we are performing addition operation only so one plus one zero with a carry one so triple one means one 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 plus one means zero with a carry one here if we get the carry then it specifies that it is a positive number so we need to neglect that carry so neglect this carry so here what is the result 0 1 double 0 so 0 1 double 0 in decimal notation is 4 so 6 minus 2 is nothing but 4 so now we have to perform this operation with the help of logic circuit okay uh, here we have taken four fully adders why because what is the need of a fully adder by using fully adder we can perform addition operation on three bits three bits here we have this one is nothing but binary number a bit this one is nothing but binary number b bit this one is nothing but the carry so we need to perform addition operation on three bits 
so first binary number bit second binary number bit as well as carry so in order to perform addition on three bits we need full adder here how many bits we have to add here the binary number capacity is four bits so we need to add four bits so that's why we have taken four full adder here the first full adder performs addition operation on a naught if we observe this one this symbol is complement symbol this symbol is complement symbol so here b naught bar will be passed to the full adder b1 bar next to b2 bar next to b3 bar we know uh, how to perform the subtraction operation we have to calculate the two's complement for the second number two's complement equal to one's complement plus one so in order to calculate the one's complement for the second number what we are doing we are using this inverter gate complement gate so this inverter gate simply performs the complement operation so now first full adder performs addition operation on a naught b naught bar and what we have to do we have to add one also why because here uh, how to get two's complement one's complement plus one one's complement plus one so with the help of this uh, inverter gate we have calculated the one's complement and then we need to add one to it we need to add one to it so in order to add one to it uh, we have to take input carry to the first full adder yes we need to pass input carry to the first full adder that is c naught as one so first full adder performs addition operation on a naught b naught and c naught it will produces here s naught s1 s2 s3 are nothing but the subtraction result okay so it produces s naught as the result so this is nothing but s naught the zero uh, so here no, 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 uh, what will happen if there is any carry that output carry will be connected as input carry to the next full adder its previous full adder so this full adder performs addition operation on a1 b1 bar and c1 and it produces s1 as the output and if there is any output carry that output carry is denoted by c2 that c2 will be connected as input carry to the its previous full adder okay so the uh, next what is the last one this full adder produces c4 as the carry so if we got one as the carry then it specifies that it is a positive number so we have to neglect that carry so here the logic is very very simple so what we are doing here simply we are performing a plus a plus this b naught bar b1 bar b2 bar b3 bar is nothing but b bar plus b bar plus here we are passing one to the first full adder plus one so this is nothing but one's complement of b plus one so one's complement of b plus one is nothing but two's complement of b so two's complement of b so this is nothing but a minus b so in order to do in order to do a minus b what we are doing we are adding two's complement of b to the first number how to calculate two's complement b bar b bar and uh, two's complement means we have to add one to the one's complement one's complement of the number so that's why here we are passing this one so c naught c1 c2 c3 c4 are nothing but carries okay whereas the output is nothing but s3 s2 s1 s naught where s3 is the most significant bit s naught is nothing but least significant bit so this is about four bit binary subtractor